Hello friends, my name is Pankaj and uh, in this tutorial we will be learning how to convert an array to array list. Sometimes uh, in Java programming we need to convert an array to array list and we can do it using a for loop but obviously that is not a convenient way because you need to iterate over the array you need to take values one by one and then adding it to the array list so java provide two built-in ways to convert an array to array list and we will just explore them here so let's create a new class here and then we will see how can we convert an array to array list so i will name the class as array to array list So since we have to convert an array to array list, so I'll be first creating an array of a string, for example, a string array of str. And here I will be using this shortcut syntax to create my array. So now this array has three elements. Let's create an list also to new array list of string okay so i'll have to import the java util list and java util array list so now we will be converting this string array to str list that is an array list so the first method through which we can do this uh, conversion is using the java util arrays class so let's see how we can use this class to convert an array to array list so str list is equal to arrays dot if you see it has a method as list and it takes this variable arguments of elements and then it returns the list of these elements so we can pass our array also here so i'll just pass str array and now we will just print both of these and see whether we got the uh, array list from the string array or not so I'll just create a utility method print array which takes this argument of a string list of a string So now we will first print the list elements and to see whether we got all the elements from the array to list or not. Let's run this class. So we got all the elements from the array to our array list okay so what is the special thing about this method arrays to array list so if you see the java doc for this it says that it returns a fixed size list backed by the specified array so what does it mean is that when you convert it in array to array list using this method the list is of fixed size so we could not add any elements to it we could not remove any element or we cannot 
clear any data of it because if you will try to do so it will throw an unsupported exception so let's try to do that and see how it goes so I'll just try to add one element here let's say I try to add a string 5 and now when we will run this class so it just prints this and then as soon as you try to add it it throws this java lang unsupported operation exception because the return list is of fixed size and we are not allowed to modify it now let's see another interesting thing about this arrays.as list so I'll just come in, remove this part so that we don't get any exception. So now what I will do, I will change this array element. So at the zero index, earlier it was one, now I will make it five. And then I will call this print array function by passing this str list. Now let's see what happens. So, okay, so first part is where it is printing 1, 2, 3, and then as soon as we change the array, the same is getting reflected in the array list also. It is happening because it is just the representation of the string array in terms of the array list you can see it in the java doc also this method acts as a bridge between array based and collection based apis so any change in array gets reflected to array list also so use this method only when we we have to get the array to array list and you want to make sure that any change in the array should also get reflected to your array list also and you do not have to modify you do not have any requirement to modify your array list so now this was the first method to convert an array to array list now we will see the another method through which we can do it safely and that is more convenient than this one because you don't have to worry about the elements in array and you can easily change your array list so i'll just comment this part okay so java.util.collections is one of the collections uh, api class that provides some very useful methods and it has one method collections dot add all so here we can provide the collection in which we want to add the elements so i'll say str list and then the elements can it, it if you see it takes the variable arguments so we can just provide the elements one by one or we can provide the array so i'll provide str array and now I will just print this and after that I'll just try to change the value in array again and let's see whether it goes any it changes anything to our array list or not and I will also try to add some value to our list and let's see it works or not I'll just try to add 5 I'll call this function again okay. so now when we will run this function so as you can see that First of all, all the elements from a string array is getting added to the string list of strings. And then if you are changing anything in the array, it is not affecting our 
list of a string and we can easily modify the our list also so if you want to just get the list of elements converted from array to array list and you have the requirement to modify it or you want to make sure that any further changes in array does not get reflected to your array list then you should always use this method so from my point of view it is always safe to use collections dot add all method because there is no risk for any future changes in array causing change in your array list so that's all for this tutorial and uh, i have this uh, class documented in an article and you can check the description where uh, the link is given so i hope you learned something here thank you